If you know me, you know that I love shopping. But I'm also a Chinese woman, which means I love a good bargain. Uh, if it's one thing I hate, it's a last day half price bargain sale. Uh, I always calculate the value to price ratio and try to maximize that with my purchases. This also means that I try to turn my material purchases a little less material and a little bit more emotional. Today, I want to share with you some of my favorite designer bags, purchases, and gifts I've had throughout the past few years, basically ever since I started making money by myself, and the emotional stories behind them. The first bag that I wanted to share is the Chanel Classic Flap in size medium. It's a black color bag with gold hardware. This is actually the very first designer bag that I've ever owned, and it's also the only bag that's on this list that's not coming out of my own wallet. In fact, this is a gift from my mother. You probably can't tell, but this is actually a 30-year-old bag. It was gifted to me when I was 18, right before I was gonna move to California for college. I was told, or as I remembered, this bag was actually a gift to my beautiful mom um, when she was younger, when she was a single mom from this mysterious, successful businessman from Hong Kong or Singapore. He is an admirer of my mom. He was pursuing her. He bought this as a gift to her, among many other gifts. However, she still ended up rejecting him. Um, the reason being is he wanted her to move um, across the country with him to join him and then to leave me with my grandparents in mainland China until I turned to an adult. My mom of course said no and that was pretty much it for their relationship. I'm sure there's also other reasons why she rejected him but for me as you can see this bag is so meaningful. It's not only because it's a Chanel bag that will hold its value for many many years but also it really represents the love that my mom has towards me, the relationship that we have and also just a good reminder of how much she had to sacrifice to be with me and it also really motivated me to work hard and be able to afford bags like this by myself as a woman. The second bag is the Celine box bag in royal blue color. I actually bought this bag back in 2017. It was right after a very bad breakup. I decided to move out to an apartment to live by myself and that was honestly the first time that I lived by myself without any roommates or family. It really gave me a chance to reflect, to learn about what I really want out of my life, out of my career. And at that time, I fell in love with this bag. So this bag that I bought is a royal blue color, which for me represents independence and strong personality. It has a very simplistic design, with a gold buckle clasp everything um, together in one place. It was so straightforward, no bullshit, exactly the type of attitude that I wanted myself to have at that moment. I actually no longer have this. The shoulder strap feels a little uncomfortable for me and it just doesn't fit as much stuff as I want it to be and the bag is quite heavy. I still really, really love the bag, but I actually decided to sell it um, maybe two years ago, almost two years ago, when my husband and I bought our first house and we were literally trying to scrape off the last penny um, to pay for our house and our kitchen remodel. But nevertheless, it was a great bag that I still love to this day. The next bag is a Fendi mini peekaboo. Um, I bought this bag in New York in the summer. It was actually the summer right before I was gonna start my first internship um, during business school. I met up with my friend Ting in New York. We spent a day just walking around the city, eating, drinking, uh, and shopping. We walked in the Fendi store, which was not crowded at all. The AC was blasting, which was great for a hot summer in New York. The sales associate is this middle-aged man who was super fashionable, humorous. He chatted with us for a long time, and then I was convinced and I was sold this bag. It's so elegant and classic with a lot of room. Um, you can either hold it with a handle or um, wear it as a crossbody bag. Um, I also pair it with different uh, scarves just to make this bag a little bit more fun. It was also in New York that I found out that my summer internship project, I got assigned to Hawaii. It was literally the luckiest thing that ever happened to me and it was the best summer that I've ever had. It was a summer full of bikinis, poke bowl, acai bowls, free hotels and flights, and great money paid by my internship. At the end of my internship, I had a crazy few days flying from Honolulu to Chicago to attend the end of internship celebration from Chicago back to LA and then LA back to China uh, to see my family and friends. I was so happy, super ready to go back, relax and spend some time with my friends and family. And I saw this cute little bucket bag 
uh, from Fendi as well. So you have this handle and a crossbody strap. Um, the bag is super light, uh, doesn't have many pockets, but it can just you know fit your sunglasses and your phone in there. For me, this bag is super casual, fun, and just represent a summer with no worries. Fast track to September 2021. After 18 months of COVID quarantine and twice rescheduling my wedding, I was finally going to have my wedding in San Diego. It was also around the time of my birthday, so I wanted to buy myself a special bag to really remember all of these uh, super important life events that were happening. I ended up getting this Chanel Square Mini in the color red. And the color red is also very meaningful. Um, in China, actually, all the brides will be wearing red on their wedding day, and red just means, you know, good luck, love, and all things great and romantic. The last bag that I wanted to share is actually my most recent purchase. It is the Chanel 22 um, in the color black with silver gold wear and size medium. I really wanted to get a white color. I'm not someone who really takes good care of my stuff so I didn't want to deal with color transfer and you know just the high maintenance that comes with a white bag so I ended up going with this classic color and I'm a huge fan of the silver hardware and black color leather combination um, this bag for me means a revolution I am actually in my three weeks of unemployment period. I am between two jobs and I decided to take a few weeks off. Uh, went to LA for a girl's trip and then going to Nicaragua for a surf camp. For me, this is a very important moment. During COVID, I had a huge and very difficult career transition. I pivoted from business, finance, consulting to being a product manager. And I am actually starting my new job with YouTube as a product manager. I feel really, really lucky, but also uh, proud of myself because I worked very hard to get this offer and it honestly feels like a dream come true. I remember when I first came to the US for college, I spent so much time on YouTube watching videos about American culture, about how to do makeup, about college life and like finding my career, finding internships. All of these information I could not get from anyone else because I was living in the US alone by myself, completely in a foreign environment. But YouTube just gave me so much, you know, information and uh, better and more efficient ways of learning stuff. And it's amazing that I get to work at this company. I can see myself wearing this to work, to the airport, go to the gym, go to pole dance classes. It fits so much stuff and it's so soft and it honestly goes with all kinds of outfits. I probably have more bags than I normally wear on a daily basis. Um, and I want to be more cautious with my purchases and making sure that I'm not just buying them to catch a trend. Um, however, I do love the moment when you wear a bag, you re-wear a bag, and it just reminds you of all the greatest moments of your life. It makes, it makes all these pieces in my wardrobe a lot more meaningful.